everybody, my name is Allison. I'm the Programs Outreach and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Book Chat. Tonight I am going to be chatting with you about a book that I just discovered called It Starts With Fruit, Simple Techniques and Delicious Recipes for Jams, Marmalades, and Preserves. And what is particularly cool about this book for me is that it is um, produced by Happy Girl Kitchen, which is a local business in Pacific Grove where I go often for lunch. So it was really cool to see this book in our collection. I've seen it a couple of times in the store um, that's attached to the cafe. If you haven't checked out Happy Girl Kitchen and you live in the Monterey area, I would recommend checking it out. It's a really great um, little restaurant with a ton of homemade stuff and they have a little store attached. Um, and this book is all about different ways to make jams and preserves and keep your fruit all year long. And what I really liked about this particular book and something that I like a lot about cookbooks is when there's more than information in it than just recipes. And so this um, has a whole section on understanding fruit and understanding the different characterizations of different fruits. So I'll show you an example. They have whole sections um, on different types of fruits, apples, apricots, you know, all sorts of different fruits. And it shows you, um, it tells you different types of things you could use it for. So for apples, it's saying you could use it for syrup, juices, vinegars, butters, sauce, pie filling, eat them dried. Um, it tells the time of year when they are produced. So late spring through summer for blackberries, peak is midsummer. So there's a lot more information in here than simply recipes. It's about really understanding the materials that you're working with, which I think is a really cool approach to food. Um, then the book is divided up into different sections. So there's jams, marmalades, different drinks that you can do. Um, one of the cool things that Happy Girl has are different types of shrubs, which I had never heard of before going there. It's different syrups you can add to drinks. Um, I also was not a very big fan of marmalade until I started eating some of their marmalades. And the book also has really great pictures of the different fruits um, that they're using. So very colorful, vibrant photos inside. Um, and then there's also stuff about how to do pie fillings, butters, and sauces. And then what I really like is they have a section at the end called Misfits. And this is where they have um, all sorts of different types of things that didn't really fit into the other sections that you can make with... Um, with different fruits. So one of the things is Membrio. So I had never heard of Membrio before. It's like this thing between a jelly and a soft candy. Very, very sweet. Um, and it's very good with some cheese. Um, that's what I like to eat it with, something salty. But also in this section of Misfits is red pepper jam and tomato jam. So stuff that doesn't fit in to the other sections. Indian lemon pickles, tomato chutney, and as with most cookbooks, there is an equipment list of the different types of things that you'll need to do some of the things in this book. Um, and there, are, they talk a lot about preserving fruits, so there's a lot of information about jarring and canning and the different processes for that. So it's a very different way of looking at food and what you eat, because this book is about preservation of food and getting the fruit at its peak season and then using it during the winter months, um, which is why I wanted to talk about it now because I thought it would be a great book as we're heading out of August and into September for folks to check out who are interested in making their own jams, marmalades, and preserves. So again, that's It Starts With Fruit. And if you haven't visited the Happy Girl Kitchen, I would encourage you to do so and check out this book from our collection. Thank you so much for joining me this evening and I will see you next time. Bye-bye everyone.